Well, I hope that, you know, that no one thing that I did changed the whole movement in a negative way or positive way. I'm mindful that I'm just one of many people and I'm proud to be one of many people. There's so many people whose names you don't know who without them, there would be no movement. Uh, when I think about my identity, it's important to me that I show up in the fullness of who I am in every room. I'm gay every day in every space at every table. And when I think about, you know, this notion of if your love for me requires that I hide a part of who I am, then that's not love. And a lot of people who talk about this radical love and radical commitment and don't actually embody that. Now, with that said, you know, it is complicated. There's some people who are homophobic who like me and it's like, that doesn't work because I don't want to be a safe spot for your hate. Uh, there are other people who like the homophobia actually shows up in really overt ways and, and we have a lot of work to do on that. I also know that I don't need to be everybody's entrance to the movement. That some people need a different entrance and a different arm ramp and I'm okay with that. As long as you do good work, I don't care what the entrance is. I want to help people get into this work as best as I can knowing that I'm not everybody's entrance. You know, some people really do believe that every gay man wants to sleep with them. And it's like, that's like you, you know, that's a really self-centered way to think about the world. Is that like, not everybody's interested in you. Uh, and I'm proud to have incredible friendships with uh, so many people of all identities, where whether we think about the trans community, uh, straight allies, anybody in the LTB, GQ space, like I think that what is important about this moment is that we're actually talking about identity in public in ways that we've never talked about. So we can have a conversation about homophobia. We can talk about the trans community. We can talk about healthcare. We can talk about like access to to information in ways that we just weren't doing four years ago, five years ago. You know, when I think about the worst encounters with homo homophobes, you know, some people are just you know, faggot becomes their like way of referring to you and that's not, uh, very unkind there are other people who truly don't believe that like you can be transformative or you can be radical or either you can think about a different world because you're gay like the, there's something about the way strength shows up that is just different if you are queer um, and I worry about that. You know, it's somebody, I think about the, the way I engage in the work. I know that I don't have to always have to yell at you to be confrontational. I know that I don't always have to scream to challenge. I know that I don't always have to push uh, to push your thought. And there are a lot of people who like don't understand that yet. I don't know how you second guess like who you are. And part of what it means to like be whole people is that we walk in all of our wholeness at every time. So in the same way uh, that straight people don't wake up every day and have to do like an examination of what it means to be straight in the way that I'm not like looking in the mirror and like re-examining am I black today? I'm never standing in the mirror and saying like, oh, is this the way that I really think about love? Is this the way that I really think about like what my identity is? I'm uh, just going out in the world and trying to say like, I wanna show up and be safe in every room I'm in. I wanna show up and be the full person that I know I am and that everybody else can be. You know, I want to challenge the way that we think about what it means to be queer and that we can think about masculinity and a range of things. We can think about uh, like the way identity shows up and not just be the tropes that we've seen on TV or sort of these stayed notions. When I think about being gay and being black, it's like, it's just a part of who I am, you know? It's like uh, just my identity. And uh, there's so many incredible people who came before me. I think about Bayard Rustin, who was the architect of the March on Washington, who helped King develop an idea of nonviolence. We think about Baldwin, the incredible writer, who helped tell the story of a people. Uh, and I'm proud to exist in their legacy.